we're back on Facebook now. Your WPS is going to determine how, how wide you got to bring that cap out. Uh, so we're different places have different different standards. We're doing some socket wells. How to get a uh, a good looking cap on this, like a two pass cap. I'm going to do another. We were on YouTube a minute ago doing live videos. Hey, for everybody tuning in on Facebook, we got the uh, annual open house crawfish bowl. Saturday, May 16th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're giving away welding machines, free crawfish, high school weld competition for a full scholarship. Make sure you're there. And then we're going to show you how to cap this out and make it like a two-pass cap, make it look good, and give some more, uh, give some more stuff away. We got some two-hole pins, some hats. We'll give some gloves away. The Alabama Pipe Welders Academy gloves. Make sure you share this video and comment your number one through 100. Instagram, we hadn't uh, forgot about you. We're going to do that in a little while. At the end of the video. At the end of the video. Yeah, make sure you comment your number one through 100. He's going to put a fill pass and then I'll do another cap pass. Oh, we need to do a, after you do that, we'll do a uh, school tour. Let it cool off. Man. Yeah, somebody said it looked like we were welding in our garage the other day. Well, you just hadn't seen the school yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. What's that, who sings that song? You're hitting his wire. Watch out, Nick. It's about 140. His amps are about 140. One eighth wire, one eighth tungsten, black mama TIG rig with a lifetime warranty. Yeah, just comment. Just tag people. Tag somebody. If tag. you're on if you're on Instagram, just make sure you tag somebody, and then also uh, pick a number one through a hundred. Who likes crawfish? Hey, this week, not tomorrow, but the next day, we're doing an underwater welding video at the beach, in the water, off a boat, bikinis. It's going to be nice. I love Florida. All right, let's do the school tour real quick. All right, so you guys on the tour, you got to stay close. All right, we're going to run through this fast, like five minutes. We're going to go through the whole school. You ready? Yeah, yeah. This is the uh, test facility. This is where you'll test out. All right, come on, four post test. Every one of these squares is a test. We got the, don't follow me back here. I'm just going to turn on the lights. These are our uh, confined space at the bottom, working from heights up top. Socket well demo. So every week at our school, you run through all these demos. Socket wells, 
We got one inch butt welds in this square. We got rigging demos, bull rigging over there. All right, come on, let's go into where the booths are. We got a tube wall. You gotta crawl in there and weld with a mirror. We got stainless scheduled tin. Purge weld scheduled tin. All right, come on. Pipe rack demo. Put your coupon in there. Simulate the pipe rack. Branch layout. Yeah, I'm going to answer questions in a little while. We got a rollout for, you know, MIG and flux core, MIG root, flux core out. Like they have in a fab shop. Olets over here. You have to cut. You have to use a torch right here. You have to cut it out. You have to lay it out, cut it out, fit it up, weld it. Level one mirror welding. This is like the level one basic mirror welding. You have to do this every week, run through all these different real world scenarios. Over here is the box test. Hey, come on, let's show them like some of the booths. So we got a pretty good setup in our booths. It's really wide. We got a lot of room. Locker room back there. Come on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish well on this. What the? What? Watch your language. We're on live video. Do what? Yeah, we got a clean welding school. We keep it clean oh, around here. We strive on housekeeping here. We want our shop to stay nice and neat and tidy. Good. A one pass cap that? No, I'm putting another on top of that, just showing them. Samuel, oh, tell him what's up. Man, it's gonna look good. It's all right. I've seen better. I've seen can't better. Can't remember when though, huh? Yeah, I just can't remember when. Definitely ain't seen anybody else do it better than that on live video. Yeah, where's all these? Where's all the all these? Where's weld tube at? Why aren't they doing live instructional videos? Uh, we don't have one set up right now. It's kind of one of them things you need to see. Yeah, pipe well and homework. COVID-19.
So out in the field when you're doing these socket wells, the biggest thing I can tell you, the biggest point of advice is right here when you stop. A lot of times, like at the power plants and stuff, they'll come back and PT this internally. So you want to take it, the way it sits right now is not a fisheye, but just being that dead metal, that, that oxidized crater right there, it's going to hold ink. It'll hold some ink. So the best thing to do is file it down. just give it a little file. You're good to go. I just pop out and turn this rod and take them out so they can't hold the fish out. Uh, you can add a little bit of wire. Let me show you real quick. So here's another technique of, of popping out of the. Give me a give me a rod. So what I'm going to do before I before I terminate the weld, I'm going to add extra wire. It's going to look like a little nipple at the top. And then it's real easy to file down. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to terminate this weld. All I did was just kind of build it up a little bit before I'm ready to stop. It sticks up a little bit and I can file it. Hey, will you hold the pipe? And that way you're filing what's built up around it and you're not you're not hitting any of the weld around it like you're not hitting before or after it you built up a little bit before you terminated cooled the puddle down and left a little mound there that you can file down all right y'all ready for the giveaways Open house is coming up. I'm giving away welding machines, free crawfish. Make sure you share this video right now. Share it to a group. Tag somebody, whatever you got to do. And comment your number, 1 through 100. Comment your number right now, 1 through 100. As soon as he gets done welding that, we're going to do it. go ahead and do the drawing. I'll, I'll tell you what my number is. We'll get to all the questions later. All right, so we're about to do the drawing. Make sure you... Uh, Share it, comment right now, one through 100. Comment your number, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, comment on Instagram and tag somebody. If you're on Facebook, just share it to a group and comment your number. We're gonna give away some hats, some gloves, some Alabama Pipewater Academy gloves, and some two hole pins. Yeah, these tungsten holder flashlights, Pipe Welder's Bible, 50 cal tungsten holder. Yep. All 
All right, y'all ready for the number? Go ahead and comment. The number for the giveaways is 44. 44. All right, just remember, join us Thursday. We're going to be going live from Crab Island, underwater welding. See you next time.